Hi all, welcome back. This is Mira Mangajala again. Today we will be continuing with the more options in Cucumber after yesterday's class. So today we will be discussing about more advanced options in Cucumber including usage of data table, usage of list of strings, uses of multiple parameters and with more examples we will be discussing about the implementation part and regular expressions in a different topic so that will be the next video so today we will be discussing about the data table and other options in Cucumber. So today we will take the example of the search in this admin panel. So today we will be writing feature file to search with the different combinations and check whether we are able to see the desired outcomes according to the search strategy. So the test case is straightforward giving the input conditions expecting the set of data. So to write this feature file let me start creating the feature file given admin is in So here I am assuming that we have preconditioned that we give some search criteria and when we run the report then we see the output. So I want to put some set of input combinations in the given condition itself. So in this case I don't want to do anything with with the examples so I don't want to go with example in the given condition itself I want to give some data so in that case what I would do is I would straight away give the combinations here I don't want to really use the example table I want to have one more table in between the steps so I do something like this let me just invest all the page and Given and provide the search conditions or provide the filter criteria as so. No need to really give the column name here, so straight away we can give a a table like format that is the data table so what I can do is I can create all the fields So what I am trying to do is, I am trying to create a combination of data inputs which are primary, these, these values are used as a part of your input conditions. So in this case, strictly speaking, this is also a table and is also we can give the data. But here we don't really want to give the column name in the step definition instead of that we can straight away give the whole set of data as a data table so we just want to have a table of data 
So in this case, what we did is we in the first case we created a linear script and we parameterized that as a data-driven test. But now, right now, we are not doing that. We are actually making sure that right now we are making sure that we give a set of input data and we test the conditions. So here also it is a tabular format. But the purpose of this table is different from the purpose of the other table. It is for the specification as example, but this is this is not the specification by example. It is not a data driven test, but it is more of a set of input criteria, different input criteria, and expecting at different outcomes. So there is a difference in that. So example, if I take new date. Do this. Do this. Let's say one to the twelve, to the thirteen. And what is that? That's all. That, that way, it is, this is a set of data input, and and from there I can write my remaining stuff. One, two, or one, one, three, four. Quantity, I don't bother. Amount. And M. So you can see like this. So now what happens is now we have to do the test. So whenever we keep this, then we need to do the specification by example. Then obviously we need to. Modify the scenario. So we need to create a scenario. In the outline here. Okay. So right. So now. First, I mean for the first set of things, what we are expecting, we are expecting it. We are expecting this. So, if you want to improve the criteria, you can improve the criteria. Right now, if I get this result, I am happy with that. I am happy with this test. So, that way, we can actually have a multi-dimensional test with, with the different combinations. So, now, as and then when you have this, now we have freedom to provide different criteria and expect different criteria as well. So if I paste it here and if I change my date to something like uh, let me put this instead of all, if I say that 
dot is cancelled cancel so let me let me see the point of the code creating void range okay I think this is the case of this Yeah, okay, so we got a different record, so okay, different input. So what I would I can suggest is do this and the in the case of order status and again all related states, what would you expect at that point? At that point we would expect a different value. So now we have four. Now we have four combinations. Typically, what happens is every row here will have a complete iteration, and it comes here and it will run twice. So typically, this will run two times. And one, one it come once it come here, it runs two times. So we have two times run. And again, second time it, it it comes to the second line and executes the both test data again. So it is typically will have to, will run four times. So that's the reason why we should we should be very careful while giving the data table. So data table is the all the conditions, and he, this is different. So we should not depend our examples under data table. If you want to completely have only two set of iterations, then either give it in in uh, in examples. Don't give it in the data table. So what does that mean? Is this particular test will run, will run four times. So it comes first here, and then runs these two examples again. Come here and runs two examples. So that way it have four combinations. So you should be very 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 careful while doing this. Apart from that, once we have this kind of data and once we have this kind of values in it, now the next and foremost thing that we need to do is we need to think out think about refactoring the code. So assuming that we have done these two tests, it's absolutely running fine. Now I need to go back and start automating the different other scenarios. Example, if I Example, if I am thinking about, about automating a different scenario, example, if I go to the gift cards and if I want to edit this data and then update something and save and continue. So if I get that story, I really should not, should not go and straight away write the feature file. Instead of that, what I can do is, I can reuse almost all the code available here, provided we need to do a bit of modifications. So to make this particular scenario, which is adding a gift card, we can parameterize this by putting something like this. If I do this, and then if I copy the complete whole set of things, and paste it here and if I can make it as edit and now see what we can do if you make this this edit and add in the implementation we can we can uh, click on add button in the case of um, add and we can click on edit button in the case of edit 
but we need to open a specific uh, record so that we can take care of the implementation. So what I'm trying to say is, in this space, if user had given edit, so we can put an if condition and we can directly go into editing of a the first available gift card and then we can card type. So now we can change the card card type. So he creates a doctor uh, card type with this, this, and actually to modify and do that, do this, and with all our default values because it is already being uh, it is already being there with the default values. I don't want to play on with the default values. So I will remove that particular step completely. And what about the code? So um, can we generate? A, yeah, we can generate one more code. So that's the reason why I just keep this like this. The code is the code is generated randomly. Administrator is a token. Administrator should be a message. Uh, message that success. New record is added. So in this case, the new record is not added. We can say that we can little bit parameterize that. Do this so we can say that old record is in this case added. We can make that update. Okay, simple. Once I do this. To make it as not updated. Okay. So if I do this, what is the advantage is that now literally I do I will there is no need to add at least no need to add any step ahead. I can go and modify my code behind this behind that so now what happened the editing functionality with all the modifications is the same as this so if you go on to implementation you will understand more better but what what does that mean here is you can see that each and every line in my add script is been reused here which means that now the implementation is very very less so I need to just modify some methods and put a if condition to some methods that's it apart from that everything is reusable so that i get three scenarios or two scenarios and i can do the same thing for the data table as well um, uh, and i can write as more script as possible so this way we can use the advanced techniques of uh, cucumber jvm so the next session will be regarding implementing these step definitions and using the regular expressions. So for that stay tuned and wait for my next video. Thank you very much.